I can read your mind now. Who in their right mind would take the time to do a YouTube video about a bucket, especially a bucket with a retail price of $40 before you spend $30 on the lid? Well, you know, there's a few YouTube channels out there that love to make fun of us Yeti fans, but I gotta tell you, I love this thing and I'm gonna tell you all about it. We all know that storage space in a Jeep Wrangler, even the four-door Wrangler, is at a premium. So I like to carry items that serve multiple purposes, and the Yeti bucket is one of those items. I like to keep the bucket strapped to the back seats using a Thule strap, and I really like these straps because one section has bungee material that maintains tension on the bucket and keeps it from rolling around the cargo area. I also like this strap because it's easy to adjust the tension using the buckle and you can use it to tie down other items next to the bucket if necessary. One of the things that differentiates the Yeti bucket from your standard five gallon bucket is this lip around the outside. And I like the fact that the lip also has slots for tie down straps. I have a nice set of pack mule straps that I use often to tie this bucket down to my cargo carrier or my kayaks. And you can also use those straps to secure the bucket using these tie down points in the back of the Jeep. Feel free to laugh out loud now, but you must buy the $30 lid in order to make the $40 bucket worthwhile. Once you add the lid to the bucket, this piece of gear becomes a multi-use item. You can use it as an end table around camp. You can set your tools on it when you're working around the garage. You can use it as a seat around the fire. And I use it all the time when I'm working in the yard, when I'm working on the Jeep, and when I'm on the trail, especially airing up tires and airing down tires. I'll take the bucket over to the wheel that I'm working on and I have a nice place to sit while I'm airing up or airing down. Yeti sells a few other accessories for their bucket. They sell what's called a bucket utility gear belt for $40, which is basically like a tool belt that goes around the outside of the bucket. And they sell a tray that goes in the top of the bucket for smaller items. They call that the bucket caddy for $20. Neither one of those accessories make much sense for my use case, but they are available if you chose to go all out with the Yeti bucket. Oh yeah, and I almost forgot. There's one more way that I use the Yeti bucket when I have it strapped into the back of the Jeep. If I go grab groceries, it never fails. I put those grocery bags in the back of the Jeep. By the time I get home, everything is all over the cargo area. So I'll pop the lid off that Yeti bucket, take the tool bag out, drop some grocery items or grocery bags right in the bucket and I don't have to worry about everything falling out of the Jeep when I get home and open the tailgate. So there you have it, the rationalization of a $40 bucket with a $30 lid. But I truly do love this thing and the only problem I have now is trying to convince myself that I don't need to buy another bucket in that Nordic blue limited edition color. Anyhow, if you made it this long in the video, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, tell all of your Jeep fanatic friends about the channel. Take care.